Hi and welcome to this EasyFlow HCV installation video. In this video, we'll use footage of a HCV and an EasyKit 1 unit interchangeably to explain and show each step in greater detail. Here's what's included in your pack. The EasyFlow unit, a feed rate cap, a fill cap, a long length of black and clear tubing, and a small length of both. Two shutoff valves with two washers, a liquid converter attachment, two small clamps, and the EasyFlow instruction manual. And finally, ensure you have purchased a CBV valve and a slip fix fitting the same size as your irrigation pipe. The first step is to turn off your water supply, then locate your main line before your irrigation valves. Now, cut a section out for your CBV valve. Prime the end of the pipe and inside the CBV valve, then glue them together. Ensure your CBV valve is positioned with the flow sticker arrow facing the same way as the water flow. Now prime and glue the CBV valve, the slip fix fitting and the other end of the main line together. Next, prepare the location for your easy flow unit. Push the black tubing into the blue port on the CBV valve and tighten with the clamp. Then push the clear tubing into the green port on the CBV valve and tighten with the clamp. Push the black tubing into one of the shutoff valves and the clear tubing into the other shutoff valve and ensure the valves are in the off position. The EasyFlow cap is set up for a water soluble fertilizer. However, when using a liquid fertilizer, cut the agitation tubing inside the cap and simply attach the liquid converter. Be sure to keep the piece of cut tubing as this can be reattached later if required. Connect the small length of black tubing to the shutoff valve and the small length of clear tubing to the other shutoff valve. Slide on the washers and push the black tubing into the blue collet and the clear tubing into the green collet. If at any point you wish to remove the tubing from the cap, simply push the washer against the collet and pull the tubing out. It's now time to turn on your water supply. If your liquid or water soluble fertilizer is clear, we encourage you to add some food dye so you can see it travel through the clear tube. Unscrew the fill cap on the EasyFlow unit and ensure that the valve on the bottom of the tank is closed. Insert your funnel and pour in the liquid fertilizer. It's important that there's no air left in the EasyFlow tank, so top it off with water by turning on the shutoff valve in the black line. Alternatively, you can fill the tank with your garden hose. Once it's full, turn off the shutoff valve and screw on the cap. With the cap back on, it's now time to turn on both shutoff valves. If there's no visible product in the clear tubing, it's time to calibrate our system with the CBV valve. Slightly adjust the handle until the product is visible in the line. Set the feed rate to your desired setting. Now your EasyFlow install is complete. When the EasyFlow tank is emptied of fertilizer, it'll be replaced with water. Before fertilizer refills, empty the unit by opening the valve at the bottom of the tank. Generally, refills are every four to six weeks. Be sure to close the valve when the tank is empty. Your EasyFlow unit can now be refilled with fertilizer. Now, it's time to relax. Your new EasyFlow unit will do the rest. 